Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting for to episode 7 and 8 of Noragami Arigato, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. God. Yeah, and they're back, and everybody's okay! BTW, this is water in here. No alcohol drinks, no juice, nothing, just water. Yeah. Smile. Um, yeah, you need to go to your body, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. No, no, can we, can we not? Can we not, like, do this? Like, Come on, man. Hiyori is very useful to this team. Don't fuck it over. Like, damn. Yeah. Honestly, I can't believe I'm almost done with the series. I have, like, five more episodes left. And I think what I'm gonna do, after 9 and 10, I'll only have 11, 12, and 13 together. And I will put those three all together, I'll record 11 and 12 together, and then 13 by itself, and, um, kind of then have to figure out how to do the editing process, no, not the editing process, like, where each episode kind of goes, because I'm going to have to have, like, two different, no, 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 I think that'll be easy, yeah, 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 that'll be easy, I just had two, um, timers in it instead of one. So then this is like carry over on it. No, why are you? I don't think he's gonna go through with it. Well, he had to. Which is true. I literally hate the fact that my freaking blinds are not even open, but still, the sun's just all fucking shining and shit. <sighs> yeah, Joel. I have to do this. You love her, right? Yes, you know, like when the Somas erase what's his face's wife's mind or girlfriend. Yeah, you can't do it, can you? <laughs> he didn't 
even the, look. There's no way in hell he did it. I mean, we're so close to the end of this series until maybe a season three. But come on, no, it'd be way too easy if he did it just like that. Mm. Told you. Uh. Oh, shit. Damn, he already. <laughs> like, give a girl a warning first. I mean, come on. Yato's not going to do everything you tell him to do. We've all learned this. So what, is she in a trial? That's gross. Mm -hmm, but you did. But see, you could be fucking anywhere now. I mean, I like. Automatically, I thought she was going to kill him, but because of the fact is that, I don't know, maybe she so cared for him, she gave him, like, the bullshit way out, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like he has, like, it's just one of those things in his plan, he's like, oh, well, I wanted her to do this, and stuff like that. Ugh. And you are?
No. Ah, that's for you. No! You guys are nothing but cheesecakes! Like, you wanna sell each other out for fucking money! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think you have to want to share anything either. See, I feel like this arc is going to go back into what uh, Kuga um, had said to him, that only one person currently knows you right now, and eventually she's going to forget you. So, eventually... <laughs> Did you sell him? Oh, thank God. And you have to accept that. Just have them think, you know, both of them have to do what's best for them. If Yato doesn't want to take the money and Yukine doesn't want to go, then that's fine. If Yukine wants to go, let him go. I feel like Yukine would lock your hair. Fuck Nora, don't think about her. No, no. No, <laughs> it's so cute. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I mean, Yato's just, he's settled he, with five yen. And there's a lot in that damn bottle, but I don't think there's a much, like a lot to make a fucking shrine out of it. I mean, it's, I'm not saying that the money is free money because in the end, you still have to give Yuki away, but because he's saying no to it, I would have been like, can I still keep the damn money? Like, money is money, I don't care, but shit, you giving it to me. <laughs> Yuki! Oh my god, Yuki! Uh, wait! Uh, he took the money. Wait! Let him go get the money from Kofuku. Yes. Exactly. That's what he's gonna do. Get it away, damn it! Yato, stop! You rather be too. What you doing? <laughs> Go lay down, Cody. Go on. There you go. You know, honestly, the thing looks like, you know, the cocoon or evolution or whatever the frick it's called in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's what this damn thing looked like. I'm sorry. Like, just without the mouth and the way it looks so disgusting. Hmm. True. What's up? Eyes <laughs> oh, <he's> moping. <laughs> He 
he does, but honey, you're gonna get one hopefully before this series ends. Oh, did you get one for him? Oh, you made it. Oh, Yuri. Mm -hmm. Oh! You know, every one time when he looks like that, like when he has his hair, he freaking looks like the Persona 3 protagonist, and I love it! Mm. Oh, honey. Ew, and no, like that's not it. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Okay, I mean, I don't want to say that this episode was kind of filler, but in a way it was. And I, you, my loving baby, he's matured so much. Like, if you would have told me that in season one, by the time we got to season two, that, like, Yuki would be so different from his season one counterpart, I probably would have looked at you like, no, there's no way in hell. Like, I feel like Yuki, like... For a moment in season one, I think once he started stealing and everything and um, all the stuff that was happening with Yato, I thought he wasn't going to change. But once he said, I'm sorry, and then he um, did everything that he did, I was just like, yeah, I think there's something in him that's different now. And I love it about him. And he's just so sweet now. And, you know, congratulations to Hilary to making it into, what, high school now? Um and then it's so sweet that she made him the freaking, like, dry. And, like, oh, my God. Baby has wanted one for a long-ass time. And he finally got one. But now, eventually, he'll get a bigger one. It's just, it's the start. No matter how big, small, whatever, it's just the start of it. And he'll get a bigger one. And an even bigger one throughout years and years and years. And then, oh, <laughs> That you'll be really proud of. But the first one, you know... It's going to be the most precious to him because he already made it, of course. Like, come on, damn it. Like, the shift between those two is so freaking obvious. <clears throat> now, the guy with the mask, I really thought, like, um, that was the guy who came. But no. Um, my bad. Episode 8. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so fucking sorry. Mm. It started like at the 23, 24 mark. That was him. Okay. So, I mean, but the thing, okay, quick question about him. It's the only reason he wants Yuki is to make him one of them, right? That's it. But, mm -mm. like, no. Excuse me. Because in the end, he's going to make those dogs. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I should be done by 7.30. I've got like 23 minutes left. So. Hopefully. Because it's now like 6.45, so. Yeah, but like 7.13 maybe. Oh, 
I have no comment to say what the fuck just happened. Yeah, why are we fighting again? I still need to listen to this goddamn soundtrack because every single time I hear like the male singer, like I'm like, that's no one but fucking Lotus Juice, god dang it. I know who that is. I don't leave Hiyori alone for just one day. Let her have a normal day at school, even though she's gonna meet that guy in the opening today. And honestly, I don't trust his ass. <laughs> because he was begging pleading <laughs> of course you little idiot Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course he's older. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's starting. Everyone who he's now officially helped is forgetting him. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
It's a little harder. Mm -hmm. yeah, just got to find them now. Damn. So, let's try again. Nope. I mean, at least he's trying, though. <laughs> You know, he's such a baby when he's drunk. <laughs>
Yeah, get take his ass to bed. <laughs> Let me guess, Nora. You wouldn't like to when I catch right there with fuck. See, there we go. Bitch. What the fuck you want? Like? Even though her name is Hiddle, I'm still gonna call her fucking Nora. I'm sorry. Yes. You made her? Anora? Okay, what the fuck? Yeah, unfortunately, you're on your own this time. Like, what the fuck was that right there? A week. But isn't it a little weird that he's gone? It's been a fucking week and he's gone still. No, because we don't even know where the hell Yato is right now. I have a bad feeling about this. But, honey, I got that feeling. Oh! oh and there he is.
Of course, because he got easy. He got her easy. Oh, he went back to his normal, his usual self. Oh, he's gonna be killing just to kill. Kill this bitch! I mean, no matter what, it's all going to come back to Yato, but I don't think that they'll kill him, but it's just weird. He might. Somebody's coming to kill you. Yato? I mean, you know what? I gotta say, uh, he's going, like, freaking light from Death Note, only killing criminals. God, not so. Probably has. He yeah, already's gonna forget you. Nora and your fucking bitch ass hero. There you go. Kick their ass. He doesn't want to be here, so let him go. Mm. 
I kind of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sounds fishy. Really, really fishy. Like, something right about this ain't fucking right. Who the fuck they got to rescue in the, in the underworld? It's been a whole goddamn month. I don't think Hiyori or Yuki or literally anyone whatsoever who was close to Yato has forgotten him. But anyone who he has purified and saved, yes, they've all forgotten him. But it's just, oh my god, I feel like the only ones that are possibly going to be able to save Yato are Yuki and Hiyori, maybe Kofuku, and her, um, and what's his face? And maybe Bisha. If Bisha, like, if they get to Bisha in time, be like, hey, yo, I need some help with Yato, that's it. I, I don't know what to say about this. I don't like the fact that Hiro, Nora, bitch, is forcing him to do this. I'm thinking, okay, he's, he, he's basically gone back. Like, I thought he was under, like, a spell or some shit and thinking that, okay, the only way that, you know, it could be broken, he got it. <laughs> but no, I just, I got questions. I'm a little confused about this episode, but I feel like they're going to go get the one dude that Fisha, you know, isolated maybe because it just feels too easy and it kind of makes sense but i don't know okay hold on was that hero slash noir trying to kiss yato or was that somebody else entirely it's just like i said something about this doesn't make fucking sense at all and um I, I just got so many fucking questions right now, but I know, like, I'm, I'm not a lot of people are going to be able to answer my questions until I watch the next fucking episode. It's like, it's just, what the fuck is going on? Why is she making him do this? There's got to be more to the fucking story instead of, okay, let's, like, trick him, wake him up in the middle of the night, take him. It's been a week, then a whole fucking month, and he's still there with them. And it's just like, god damn, what else can you do? But worry about him. And then, like, what can he already do? He, in a way, like, I'm not saying that he already can't do anything. But, like, after the fact that she's made this shrine for him in the previous episode, I feel like she could do anything. Yeah, she's good at kicking ass. But sometimes 50 out of 50, it may not work for her. And then Yuki, you know, with Kazuma and, you know, having Kazuma train him. It, it just feels like to me, why isn't freaking Yuki or Kazuma or even Bisha or any of them sitting here wondering, okay, it's been a little while since um, Yato's been gone. Where the fuck he at? Let's go find him. I know not a lot of people don't really give a shit about him, but the ones that do give a crap about him, it's just like, they're, they're all just standing around waiting for his ass to come home. Well, it's officially been a damn month now. Go look for his ass. Like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, we, we, we don't do that. If that's supposed to be your friend, and he already, if you love him like I think you do, even though this new boy is now in the picture, and I feel like he, it, you're going to fall in love with him, and then I feel like he's a traitor. I don't know that much, but we'll find out. If she loves him like I truly think she does, she'll stop everything just to go find Yato. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futures episode 7 and 8 of Noragami Arigato. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Monday for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.